Farmers love the dirt because it's been passed down from, them from generation to generation. And it's something they did with their dad. And they something that they enjoy doing with their kids. And it's always been part of your lifestyle to be interacting with the soil. I'm Frank Prince from Hartney, Manitoba, and I'm a farmer. My name is Steve Crittenden. I'm a scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Brandon, Manitoba. My program is Soil Health and Nutrient Management. So mostly what I work on is trying to understand how we can manage our soils to improve crop productivity and better our environmental sustainability. Most of our food is grown in soil, so it's essential for uh, human nutrition, you know. Um, but it, I think one of the fascinating things about soil is that, yes, we need to manage our soil for our crop productivity, but it also plays a role in a lot of other ecosystem services, as in benefits that we can get from soil, whether that's dulling the edge of climate stresses um, or um, protecting our water quality. So it plays quite a key role. Soil health is uh, the interaction of everything going on in soil. It's, it's those chemical, biological, and physical properties of soil, sort of all interacting all at the same time. My name's Matthew Bucker. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology at the University of Manitoba. There's a lot of stuff going on in soil. There's a lot of life in soil, you know, in a, just a little bit of soil, thousands of different kinds of bacteria, hundreds of different kinds of fungi, and then all the invertebrates and worms and so on. So it's really a, a bustling, lively place and super interesting to study. It's really the, the most biodiverse ecosystem on Earth is soil in terms of the number of different kinds of organisms that live there. So it's really cool. Soil quality and water quality are intimately connected. Uh, mainly because, you know, most water passes through soil on its way into our streams, rivers and lakes. And what happens to it during that passage, you know, has a big impact on the surface water quality. In here that indicates they're actively fixing nitrogen. So pulses and soybeans help us reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by not having to apply as much or any nitrogen to the crops as they fix it all themselves. So they recruit these bacteria, special bacteria that have certain enzymes out of the soil. They create a home for them by modifying their root structure, allowing those bacteria to live inside their roots in the nodules or these, these bumpy kind of growths. The bacteria are able to take a form of nitrogen that's all around us in the air, but that we and, and most organisms cannot use. If you go back in time to the dirty 30s when they plowed everything and it got dry, and their soil all blew away, and it took many years to regain the soil structure after that. The whole world has become smarter, and so have farmers with how they interact with the soil. Soil is a massive carbon sink. There is an incredible amount of carbon in soil, and that plays a role in climate change. Uh, and so it really matters how farmers manage their soil to keep that carbon in the soil and hopefully build it because that has an impact on everyone. We have to think of soil health as an analogy and like what does it mean to be a healthy person? You know, there's lots of aspects to that and just being physically healthy doesn't, you know, guarantee that you're also having healthy relationships and so on. It's the same, like that analogy is meant to describe the soil too. Just having good, you know, fertility doesn't necessarily mean that you're also disease resistant and so on. So it's not a, it's not a panacea. It's not something that we can easily like manage simultaneously for every aspect of soil health, but it's, it's the idea that there are functions that we can benefit from if we manage our soil in a way that, that will foster those functions, there'll be payback for us as farmers too. You can apply uh, cutting edge science to solutions that farmers are gonna use on a practical level. And that, that's, I think, was really, really exciting to be able to do something um, use the scientific method and apply it to uh, crop productivity and environmental sustainability all at the same time. As a farmer, I care about soil conservation as I would like to pass my farm on to my children and I'd like to give it to them in a better condition 
than I received it in. We are very proud of the work we do here on the farm. We are always trying to improve our practices and increase our soil health, which results in higher yields and better quality of crop for the end user.